Okay, now I have 8 o'clock at the top of the hour, 8 o'clock here in the Midwest, and so we are going to start our Monday night uh, webinar. This week we're talking the power of our profession for life after kids. I'm Joe Coogan. I'm down there in the glasses with the yellow around my neck, and next to me there is Hannah Sherapin. We are master coordinators. And to the left you see a picture of senior director, soon-to-be coordinator, Becky Chode. Mm -hmm. And um, we've asked Becky tonight to share kind of what's been happening in her life currently and uh, and what are some of the things she sees that is happening in the lives of her friends. What challenges are they facing? Um, what are some of the struggles that they currently have as um, we often refer to empty nesters, which... I like life after kids better, but Becky's <laughs> going to share uh, those challenges and why she's expanding her home business with Shackley and, and, and even why she initially chose Shackley and why it's such a good fit for her and for others. So, Becky? Thank you so much, Joe, and I'm so thrilled to share with all of you, and I do hope that this um, information either um, answers some questions or just helps you in that beginning phase of evaluating what we have. Um, here's a picture of my family. My story starts um, a little bit prior to this picture. Um, 18 years ago, I was a speech pathologist in the schools with two kids in daycare and pregnant with my third. Um, and I, at that time, I'd asked my husband, Greg, if we could live on just his income alone for two years, and then when my oldest went to kindergarten, I would go back to work. And at that point, he agreed. And um, so during my first year home, I found Shackley by way of my friend Tammy Johnson. Um, when I started our business, the kids, um, oh, if you'll go back to that one slide before, Joe, my kids were four, three, and one. That's what they look like. Yep, there they are. Duh. And um, finding out about Shackley really gave me the ability to dream like I'd never dreamt before because I could leverage my time. And I began to wonder if I could stay home full time and possibly replace my income and be home with my kids. And I um, love being able to coach young moms on how they can be at home with their kids too. Um, and so here we are um, today. Uh, this is what my family looks like now. This was taken, I think, at Thanksgiving. Um, so um, I've been in business for 17 years. and. By year five, I had replaced my full-time income as a speech pathologist working part-time with Shackley. And most weeks, that was just 15 hours a week. Um, and it's funny when I tell people the story because it was an hour uh, during Sesame Street and an hour at nap time and an hour in the evening. And so I was very faithful with those hours. I worked really hard those first five years and very intentional. Um, and for the last 12 years, I have absolutely been actively maintaining my business is what I would call it. Um, not necessarily building it, but maintaining it and maintaining this income. And I feel like that um, also is a piece of how it speaks to our products and how well they work, that I can maintain my business um, over the years, I've uh, accumulated several customers, but for them to be able to still just continue to love the products just, just speaks a lot about that. Um, so my children right now are 21, 20, and 18, and our oldest on the right of the picture, he's getting married this summer, and then mm -hmm. my um, other son in the middle uh, that's on my husband's back, he's graduating high school, and then Sarah, our daughter, um, is also in college. She's in the middle. Um, and I just have to tell you, I love being a mom. Um, it's one of my greatest joys. And I take my job as mom very seriously, and I have parented very intentionally over the years. And Greg and I will be empty nesters in the fall, and so we're headed into this new, you know, exciting um, season. And one of the reasons I wanted to share with you um, about this season is just I'm realizing that um, – Particularly with moms, we are so qualified for building businesses because of all the hats that we have to wear. And you can see the list. Um, you know, we're wife, mom, chef, uh, travel agent, um, you know, playmate. We're all those things. And, um, and, and more. I mean, we could list probably 40 things, 40 different hats. And what I'm realizing with this phase is that some of those hats I'll always wear. You know, I'm always going to be a mom. Um, but there's other things that I will 
put on, a, you know, <clears throat> like put it in the closet for a while. Um, like I won't be probably playing it again unless I have a friend that comes over with little kids or in the future when we have grandkids, you know. And so at this stage of my life, I actually just have more space to put on a different hat, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to just share with you a little bit about what I'm hearing from some of my friends who are in the same spot that I'm in. And I was talking with them, and um, and we talk about this a lot. And any viewer who are listening who are at the same phase, I'm sure you've had these similar conversations with your friends, too. Um, one of my friends said, sometimes we can lose ourselves in the midst of parenting. Mm -hmm. And I just, you all know mm -hmm. that our parents out there, there is a lot of emotional energy that goes out with parenting our children. And I always joke that um, when our kids are little, there's a lot of physical. You're just completely tired all the time physically. But then when they get older, it's actually this emotional <laughs> draining mm -hmm. that, you know, these decisions and helping them guide them. I mean, it is it's very emotional. Mm -hmm. um, and so actually when they are moving out and into their next steps, you have more emotional energy to put towards something else. Um, there's a, there's a, a, a more of an open window. Um, this next one, we may have to put our dreams on the back burner to help our children grow into wonderful adults. And I am so proud of the adults that our children have become. And our investment collectively as parents into our children is no small deal. Um, but now maybe we can pursue some of the things we haven't had time to pursue, uh, whatever that is. Um, this one I can so relate to um, when my friend said, I'm just struggling a little bit with my identity. Sure. I've always had my kids at home, mm -hmm. and I can totally relate to this one. In fact, the, the when I was thinking about this, the thing that made me think of is because we had our kids so close together, we always have these parenting changes that happen in chunks. And um, I can remember the first year that all of our kids were all in elementary school. And you would think I would be so glad to go to the store by myself. But I was like, oh, no, no one's going to talk to me because I don't have any cute kid in my cart. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. and, um, and I was thinking, it's just going to be me. You know, uh, it, it's just me again in the checkout line. And it takes us sometimes a bit to remember that we have value just by ourselves, too. You know, that we don't have to have a cute kid to strike up a conversation with, you know, another mom in the grocery store or whatever, that we have value ourselves. I know it sounds silly, um, but actually mm -hmm. I totally felt like this. Um, and so take that, and now we're in this new phase, you know, of our kids moving out. It's just another thing like that, just reminding ourselves that we have value just being ourselves. Um, we can now follow our schedules instead of our kids' schedules, and I'm sure several of you on this call have concerts you've been to and sporting events and um, if you have more than one child, you know, all that doubles or triples or quadruples, it's, it's quite a time investment. Um, we can now remember what our interests are and then I'm going to um, choosing to, instead of looking this as a season of loss, I'm going to look at this as a season of new opportunities. And even though Greg and I will miss being in the dailiness of our children's lives, we really are excited to pursue some new things. And, you know, as one child goes and then the next child goes, um, you kind of get used to that. But that is, um, that is an adjustment. Um, so I'll have to adjust with Matt moving out in the fall that I won't be part of that every day, what'd you have for lunch, what'd you do, <laughs> you know, all those kinds of things. And that we can have some freedom to pursue some new things. Um, so this next slide is um, just something that I feel like as a whole, this group we're looking at. We're looking at college tuition bills. Um, some people might be behind in retirement funding. Some people may be helping, helping children financially in different ways. We're, look, we're getting older, and we're looking at health issues or preventing. And um, that's one thing that um, Greg and I talked about a lot when we first started Shackley is um, not only did we want to feel good and healthy and well, but we both had a lot of stuff in our family tree that we wanted to prevent. We don't want to ever have those things happen to us. And so just, again, looking at those things. And then I love this last one, um, generating significant income to allow our spouses to leave their jobs to maybe do something that's more fulfilling to them. And really that is part of my motivation for my goal right now for building my business is that I am so thankful that over all these years, I've been able to be home. And I would love to give the gift of time to my husband 
and grow our Shackley business large enough that I can bring him home years earlier than someone would normally retire. Um, and I just love that. I would love to, to do that for him. Um, <clears throat> so a few more. Sometimes um, we might be burned out, ready for a change. Um, the other thing is, um, the second to last one, Just it might really be appealing to you to work with other like-minded people dedicated to helping each other and creating something of their own. And then um, I love this one. This one's near and dear to my heart. It's just offering an alternative to that sense of loss that um, women feel, that, and I know par both parents feel it, but there is something about a mom's heart that we are just nurturers and we can feel um, grief, you know, in, in this time, even though we're excited for our kids and we're proud of them, um, we can feel grief, but we it's helpful to have some other things to kind of plug in that are positive, that um, we can celebrate who our kids are becoming and, and what we have going on. Um, so I just, I love that. And then to be able to do something like Shackley where you really could have an opportunity and contribute, um, which is so awesome. So... Very good. Go Becky, let's just, I'm going to enhance this whole dimension of the financial aspect yeah. for, for baby boomer women. Um, and just some of the, these are some statistics, but they're worth our knowing so that we can think about them. 47% of the women over the age of 50 are single and they're re financially responsible for themselves. Wow. Now that says a lot. And yeah. women's retirement income is less than that of men because, as Becky so eloquently has pointed out, women are, for many, many women have been the primary caretaker and out of the workforce for a number of years, and that means their retirement benefits are probably only about a quarter of those of men. And this one I found very interesting. Women are expected to live an average of 7 to 10 years longer than men. That we've kind of always known. But mm -hmm. married women who are baby boomers can expect to outlive their husbands by 15 to 20 years. Wow. So, you know, we can't, as women, we can't put our heads in the sand and say that, well, I have my husband who's working to take care of me. You know, it's just, right. it isn't it isn't going to be there. And uh, of the elderly living in poverty, three out of four are women, and seven out of ten women will at some time live in poverty. That's a huge number. And I think that's why so many of us get so excited about the potential of a, of a Shackley business. And then, you know, the fact that as Americans, we're not prepared for retirement in every any financial es expert that you read or listen to, they all say that the, there comes that time in life where we cannot be helping our kids. We cannot pay for their college because we need mm -hmm. to make sure our retirement is fully funded. Mm -hmm. And generally it's not. And so an additional income can make a huge difference there in the things that we can do for ourselves and then for our kids. Mm -hmm. So, Becky, tell us where, the, where you're at right now. You bet. Well, this is why this is such a great time. I mean, I've been able to enjoy my Shackley business the whole time my kids were growing up, but it also is an awesome time to um, start a business when your kids are moving out. And just listen to this list. I mean, this is just awesome. But <laughs> freedom and flexibility, fun and friendship, professional and personal growth. Um, time to look at health and prevention and financial benefits and security. I mean, that just sounds super wonderful. And it actually, when I first was introduced to Shackley, all those things actually sounded a little bit too good to be true. And um, I, I say also when I'm um, telling people about Shackley, just to, to test it, to, to check it out, because actually it is that good. <laughs> That's what it is. Right. Um, and I just want to tell you what has kept me in Shackley for all these years and why I'm so excited to enter the next 20 years in Shackley. And that is because Shackley is deep. There are other home businesses out there that people can do, but I love how deep Shackley is. I love that what I have to share is so worthwhile that it could literally change someone's life. Um, that whether we're talking about our health or our finances, both of those are probably in the top five things to have in check. Plus, with all the training that we receive with Shackley, I feel like I've become a better person, a better wife, a better mom, a better friend, 
and a better business leader by utilizing what I've learned, and that is priceless. We can't even put yeah. a price on that kind of thing. Sure. Um, plus, I get to share it with my children. You know, they're becoming adults. My children can build businesses with me and enjoy the benefits of Shackley. I can give them my business when I want to retire. And so Shackley is a generational thing that can make a positive impact within our family for generations to come. And I just absolutely love that. I just love it. Becky, you make a very compelling case. Yes, she oh, does. <laughs> Absolutely. So, and let's, fact, ex let's explore those elements one by one a little bit. Well, you know, you mentioned about the freedom and flexibility. Well, that's one of the beauties of this. You know, we've all gone the route, those of us who have been parents and had a family, we've had everything based around our, school, our children's school activities. And, you know, the laundry just never stopped dropping off and delivering children. In fact, I remember once hearing a comedian said, a woman delivers once by birth and forever <laughs> after by car. Oh, how cute. Totally I true. really related to that one. Mm -hmm. So whether we want to do this part-time or full-time, you know, one of the beauties is the freedom of time and the flexibility of hours, whether we're doing it by the pool, by the phone, computer, anytime, anywhere. And actually the polls are showing that time freedom and family time are still the two highest requirements of what people really want mm -hmm. over and above income. That's so I right. thought that was really interesting. Yeah, great point. And I really believe that, Hannah. I feel like that is the precious part that, um, that nobody can give back. You know, you can't get time mm -hmm. back. And right. so I totally believe that. This is a super fun collage of my team. And I absolutely love working with these people. And um, I love the phrase, we work for ourselves but not by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we work as a team to support one another with phone calls, home events, Facebook events. Um, and I want to tell you, these people are a powerhouse of abilities that we all get to tap into. And it's just a wonderful, beautiful way to do business. And the next slide is my accountability group. And these ladies, I just totally look forward to talking with them. Every week um, we have a call together and we walk shoulder to shoulder um, within this business. And we all learn from each other. Um, their input and team spirit really encourages all of us um, in this group to reach farther than we ever thought we could. And it's it's a wonderful way um, to have a work environment uh, to be so uplifting and positive, which I know is not always the case. Um, and so it's just it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. It fill it fills a lot of that void, that emptiness, you know, being with a team exactly. of mm -hmm. like minded colleagues. Right. So and then there's this whole element of the financial benefits, which again we've we've kind we've touched on that. And just a couple of other things to maybe think about that one of the things I have always loved about the Shackley opportunity is there is no glass ceiling. Um where you know Everybody is treated the same in terms of if you do this, you get this. And if you do this, you get that. And you do this, and you, and you can have this. And it's not, nothing is based on, on gender or years of experience or your age or your gender or any of that. And um, so people can, you know, can, can achieve what it is that they want without anybody mm -hmm. putting constraints on them. And, then, and there's no limit on that income. You know, because right. of the glass ceiling and the wage inequality between men and women, a woman's often limited in the amount of income that she can make. Mm -hmm. And um, even today, you would think that that would not be an issue, but it still is. Um, women earning 74 cents for every dollar that their male counterparts earn. I mean, mm -hmm. why? <laughs> it doesn't. Twenty-five percent less. Yeah, I mean, it's, but the question I have: Why? You know, I mean, if they have the same, you know, expertise, and that's where a, a business like Shackley, that doesn't happen. Like I said, regardless of your gender, your age, your education, your your social economic group, in network marketing, the size of the income stream you can generate is without limit. It's entirely up mm -hmm. to you. And then we have additional benefits like trips that people can earn for their spouse and other family members. In fact, there are whole 
planes. <laughs> People are going to be leaving this coming week now for uh, mm -hmm. for Maui for uh, the incentive trip and. People are taking, you know, their spouses and their two or three or four kids or sure. grandchildren. And then you have the ability to earn a car payment, too. So it's a total package um, that works. Right. And, you know, doesn't it make sense that if you are going to go into business, you're going to want to go with a company that will be here for the long haul? And more importantly yet, a company also with a conscience, a company mm -hmm. who really, really looks to that science, runs the company by the golden rule, and has a tremendous legacy. You know, we did an appointment last week for a fellow who uh, works in a medical office, and he was telling us that they are approached regularly. Sure. He said, you have no idea how many companies come in here and tout their products. And he said, but you know, I investigated Shackley. He said, I love the fact that this company has that longevity that they'll be here five years from now and mm -hmm. where other companies may have come and gone by then. So it was nice to hear it from someone else. And, of course, we love the fact that uh, Captain Mark Kelly, who took more shuttle flights into space than anyone else and uses the Shackley products, as you see a strip of six of the daily supplements there, of the vitalizer floating up in zero gravity, so my husband always says that's proof that our products are out of this world. He <laughs> loves the fact that yeah, it's good proof, right? Yeah. And then I yeah. love the fact that Oprah has chosen us as one of her favorite things, that the White House and the Vice President's House is cleaned with our cleaning products. The Olympians turned to us. I mean, we really have a whole wonderful package, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And the value of these products, so this, let's say, is the next phase of life when the children are out of the home. And this is the point where what do we want to concentrate on? Living longer, but not just longer, but healthier lives. We want to mm -hmm. still be mentally fit so that we can enjoy life and everyone else can around us as well. And, of course, those natural solutions that ha Shackley has for so many different issues that particularly affect people right about the age of 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and so on. Everything from the menopause, menopause issues to heart concerns and digestive issues, weight management, sleep issues, and to think that Shackley has some really good natural solutions. It's really fun to be able to help people through this, whether it's through our nutrition line, our weight line, and even our personal care line. My husband mm -hmm. saw some people at a wedding this week, and he said, oh, Hannah, do they ever need that Enfusel? Because <laughs> <laughs> they look so old. <laughs> they really did. They're not aging real beautifully. And the Get Clean products, of course, we love the fact that we're putting non-toxic products into our homes and at the same time doing our part for the environment and saving money so uh -huh. and the products and philosophy of course is what I fell in love with when we first got into Shackley I felt that was one of the most important things about the company is that I knew that I could feel good as we talked about earlier we could talk an hour tonight about just the integrity and philosophy of the company alone. Mm -hmm. When you look at Shackley doing 350 plus tests on every botanical ingredient just for harmful contaminants alone, and the fact that we do 100,000 quality tests a year, you know, realize that many companies only use the vendor's testing on the raw ingredients and they rely on those. And how many times has Shackley found issues with those reports? Absolutely, <laughs> for sure. And okay, flip. And when we say it's a company with a conscience, we start with a wonderful legacy from Dr. Shackley, who developed our first multiple vitamin in the country way back in 1915. We're celebrating that hundredth year of innovation right now. And then taken over by a young billionaire who's a visionary leader, and he. It continues the number one natural nutrition company in the United States by continuing to bring in top people to work with us to be able to continue our product innovations and the safety of them. Followed by Dr. Bruce Daggy. You heard a little bit about him earlier. I love the fact that he loves Dr. Shackley's philosophy that the medical profession is interested in treating disease, which they need to be, but I'm interested in building health. And nutrition does affect absolutely everything from our longevity to our immune system to our energy yeah. levels and so on. So it's nice to know that we really 
have a company that can provide all of that above for us. These are all unique to Shackley. Absolutely. So? And um, so we have we have this we have this company with that is sound and stable that has a history and a heritage but a great future. Uh, we have a, a, a viable business model and I want to talk a little bit more about the potential that lies ahead with, with the Shackley business model. And this is just an example and this is what, what people like Becky have to look forward to. Um, as it states here, Barb and I were talking about this, Barb Lagoni and I were talking about this the other day and how for each of us we started Shackley, my husband and I started Shackley before we had kids and so once they were grown and out of the home and you know off on, on their own and in college it freed up a tremendous amount of time, just like Becky's talking about earlier, um, in terms of being able to work Shackley. And it was at that time that we began that journey to master coordinator in earnest. And uh, Becky, this is what you and so many others have to look forward to. And sure. it's it's looking at having potentially an income of you know ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars or more a month, a month. Mm -hmm to meet all of the financial responsibilities that you want to have taken care of with the stream of income. So the potential is wonderful. And what and it's and it's whatever would work for you. Um, that's what I love about the business is that we can sit down with somebody individually, we can talk about your goals, your wants, your needs, what would satisfy those, what would make your life better and then we select an income level that you would be comfortable working for and we go to, and I love it Becky when you said we work shoulder to shoulder with somebody and that's exactly what we do. We go to work for people and help make it happen. And People have three different ways that they can engage with us in Shackley. So if you're, you know, if you're new, if you've been away from Shackley for a while, if you're just getting started, you want to use the products. You've got to know are they going, you know, the, you have to validate them for yourself. You need your own personal product experiences. And that for some people is all they want to do is be a consumer of the product and we love people like that. Um, we have thousands and thousands and thousands of people in Shackley that are, are the product users and day in and day out they, they use our great product lines. And for some people, maybe after they're a user or even from the beginning, they decide they want to use the product and then share some of it themselves. And it might be maybe they want to help make a mortgage payment, maybe they want to help pay off credit card bills, maybe they want to be able to send money to their child in college every every month. Maybe it's to help uh, with a wedding, right Becky? Right. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So that that people will share Shackley products all the way from from earning enough money to offset the cost of their products to maybe even up to a, a couple of thousand dollars a month to uh, like I said there's never there, people never run out of a re, uh, out of a need for more money that's always there and then for some of us it's a, to making the decision that we want Shackley to be more of a career income opportunity for us and people will get involved with a little bit more time and uh, put a little more effort into this and and build a Shackley business that can provide a significant income and Becky I love that when you said your focus now is to build your business to the point that you could get your husband out of his career and right. help him to retire earlier. Right and so it was funny how that came about because I was telling my husband I was ready I felt like space was opening up I was ready to move on to the next thing but I needed to find a goal that propelled me and just without <laughs> even a second he said well bring me home I, was I like, love oh, it okay <laughs> he had your goal already figured I no, you did. <laughs> but yeah, I that's and, that gift. yeah, yeah. And we all need, you know, something to do that that we feel has has value and significant significance. So, Becky, share with us your thoughts, if you would, on where someone can find more information about Shackley. Because what we've done in this webinar tonight is more or less try to just uh, engage people enough to want to know more. What exactly. would be your recommendations? Well, and the 
the videos that are listed, these links that are listed on this slide, and this car, uh, call will be archived, this webinar will be archived so you can have access to this again, but those are great. Um, some of they vary in length, some of them are just a couple minutes, some of them are going to be a little bit longer, but just a variety of things for you to, again, just kind of get acquainted with what Shackley has to offer, but then also the potential of Shackley. Um, the second thing is just to um, have a phone call or email or text very quickly with the person that invited you to this call, because they're going to be your best resource in kind of um, guiding you along. And we work very much in teams, <clears throat> and we will support um, the people that are on our team. And so it's it's really a wonderful, wonderful partnership, not only with Shackley, but also with the uh, Shackley distributors in the field. And um, so those would be my first two, two go-to things, would be the videos and then your personal person that asked Great. you here. Good advice, sound advice. Mm -hmm. um, boy, this uh, quote here tonight fits for you, doesn't it, Becky Winth? Uh... Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. <laughs> Yes, yes, it's so sweet, and it's totally true. Time really does fly. Feels like it was just yesterday he was in my arms. Now he is saying goodbye. And then you go through this again with your grandchildren, right, Hannah? Yes. <laughs> you know, we see them start to grow, too. And, 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 Amazing. Yeah. Oh. Isn't this special? We raise them to let them go. I and that is just so poignant, yes. Mm -hmm. It's so poignant because that really is our goal as parents to have them be um, successful and independent people and, and happy people. And, and we usually do our job really well, and then we're like, oh, you're leaving. <laughs> right. But we want them to do that. So it is a great one. And this quote kind of... Um projects us forward, you know, from this point on, once we've raised them and they're on their own or starting to move out of the home and, and develop their own careers and, and professions and stuff, do something today that your future self will thank you for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Time to think about it. There are times, you know, that, that it is good for us to be thinking about ourselves. Absolutely. And one last yeah, one, Becky. Yeah. Yeah, just as parents, we are those guides for those kids to along that road to independence. And we are celebrating their growth and their adulthood. And um, now we have some space to be able to do something else, too. Great. Well, Becky, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Um, you painted a you. beautiful picture of what is here and what's possible and what options people have. So let's see if we have any questions. Um, can you hang around for a minute, Hannah, Becky? Sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if we've got anything. Uh, we got rid of that echo. Good. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We're all muted, right? Oh, somebody asked for more volume, but I thought we were doing pretty good. I, I mean, I was hearing yeah. everybody pretty good. Uh, well. Somebody said, I can't hear anything. It says I'm muted. But muted by an organizer means you can't talk. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't hear. I don't know. If people weren't hearing, I don't know what it was. I like Becky's comment about giving her husband the gift of more income. Yeah. <laughs> Richard Beaver says, I know Kay is listening. We are in a similar <laughs> position with my mother, who outlived my father by 16 years. With our newfound mm. time, we are on board with Becky's concept of re-energizing our business and finishing well with Shackley. Beautifully Aww. said, Richard. Yeah. And you know what's beautiful, too? People can come into this business early, and if they want to grow quickly, during those early years, they can do that too. If they want to do it as you did, that's great. Or people can come into this business brand new at any age and still mm -hmm. make it happen. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. It's great. The webinar is archived. It will be archived at um, Better Health in 31 Days, which 
and also a better future starts today which is an adjunct to better health in 31 days and that's a subscription website because our webmaster um, devotes a lot of time and effort and energy to um, recording these webinars and archiving them and making them available in a in a form that is usable for all of us but if you go to better health in 31 days I think you'll find the information you need there for um, how to access that. Okay, the slide with the links. Uh, thank you. Important information and wake-up call for baby boomers. Many have mortgaged their homes to pay for college tuition. Yeah, but that's really not a good thing. <laughs> Wonderful presentation. So helpful. Okay. Good. Not only is there the income, there are the income tax benefits. That's so true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Mm -hmm. Also, the fact that you can pay your children to work in your business doing even menial tasks from the time they're about five years old, as long as you document everything, you can pay them as you choose. They're at a lower tax bracket, so therefore that's like getting tax-free money. Mm -hmm. They don't have to pay mm -hmm. any taxes unless they're over 10000 So. And, it's and, a, you and it's you get the deduction, right? So all the way around, it's a win-win. Good point. Mm -hmm. Are there any ways or things you do to appeal to the empty nesters? Well, Becky, do you want to share what you're doing? You just a little bit about sure. your approach. Well, and it really is just coming up in conversations because um, so many times, um, as moms, we are around our. Um, kids' friends and their parents, whether it's a sporting event, whether it's whatever. So just this year, I just have been more cognizant to visit with some of the other parents on the sidelines, excuse me, and just ask what they're doing and um, what is next for them. And some of them have kids the same age as, as our son, and some of them, um, and that's their last one also, and some of them still have kids at home. But it's just... Um, it's really interesting to ask some of those questions and just see where people are at and um, then to be able to offer something, you know, to say if they're like, gosh, I don't know, I'm completely scared. Um, and some people might really know what they want to do and they're very clear and that's great. But mm -hmm. um, but we do have an option for people if they're looking for something um, that I just think is beautiful. So it's really more in conversations with groups that I'm in. And I think, and even if we're not in, um, you know, even for someone like Hannah and I, if, we're, if someone's older or younger, to even with people that you do know, to say, do you know anyone whose um, last child is about to leave home or is on, mm -hmm. you know, has left home? You know, one of those. I guess, I, you know, one of those empty nesters, they call them. You know, you can mm -hmm. make kind of a joke out of it. And just say, do you know anyone like that? And then, like you said, Becky, then the conversation with that person, you know, is I understand your um, last child is uh, graduating from high school this year. Just curious, what kind of plans are, do you tell me about the plans you have for yourself? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let people oh, talk. Perfect. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've, I've actually asked it and had people say, sadly enough, you know, I still feel like I don't know what to do now that I'm grown up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, they're just really mm -hmm. kind of floundering, and sometimes we can just provide that answer. That's right, that's right. So it's a matter of just, it's reaching out and just having mm -hmm. some conversations, mm -hmm. asking some, um, you know, nice questions and getting people to talk about what they're thinking about being an empty nester. Mm -hmm. And... Then it's so easy to go from there. And then you can send them a link to this webinar and see if there's mm -hmm. something that they've heard uh, us talk about tonight that resonates with them, and you're off and running. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everyone, for joining us. We are delighted that you gave up time on your Monday evening to spend with us. Becky, fabulous job. Hannah, yes. as always, you. you were spot on. Well, and you as well, right. certainly. So thank you. thank you both so much. Appreciate mm -hmm. working with yeah. you. Yep. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.